how you all doing? Welcome to this Enlarge tutorial. On this Enlarge tutorial, I'm going to show you to um, retouch your selfies. So make your selfies look as um, as good as they can be. Get rid of blemishes. So um, in light, the Enlarge team have recently put one of these tutorials on their Facebook page, but I don't entirely agree with the whole way that they've done it. So I'm just going to show you uh, what I think is a better way. Um, so yeah, let's get on. And um, we're going to use this this free stock model image here and obviously you can see the girl here has got, got quite a few blemishes so I'm just going to zoom into this blemish area this, this spot area here and you see that I've got these moles this spot and if you look around we've got quite a few blemishes on the face we're going to get rid of those first I'm going to show you how to do that um, so I'm just going to tap the screen I'm going to tap the screen I'll get my, um, my sidebar pop up and I'm going to go to tools and then after I've gone to tools, I'm going to go to this um, heel button down here. Now the way the heel works, it opens up this toolbar for you. Wherever I tap on the screen, it will give me one circle, but I'll also get another circle attached to that circle. So I'm just going to explain now. So I'm going to tap the spot that I want to hide. And let's say the circle that I'm moving around the screen now, the top one, and the, the, the top one with the white line around it, that's circle one. And the circle on the bottom, that the, the, the circle, the white line removes, the arrow is pointed to, is circle two. So whatever is in circle one will be mirrored in circle two. Let me give you an example. So if I, if I go over her lips here, you will see, and I just zoom, make it bigger, you will see in circle two, wherever I go on circle one, circle two is replicated. So I'm just going to pinch and squeeze and make the circle a little bit smaller. If I move this circle two, you can see that I've got the spots there. So I'm going to cover the spots with um, by masking um, over circle two with what's in circle one. And I'm going to use the white area on her skin. And then I'm going to click the little flatten button. The flatten button is the little button down the right hand side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now what happens with the flatten button is as opposed to using the tick on the right hand side, top right hand corner, if I use the tick it would just accept the changes and move on to the next um, the next part. But with the flatten button, it allows me to stay within the tool set, i.e. the heel tool set that we're currently using. So I'll click flatten and then I select the next blemish, which is here. I move circle one to the area that I want to mask it with and click the flatten button again. And I'm just going to keep repeating this process until I've removed all the blemishes or all the blemishes that I can see on her face. So I tick the blemish, move circle two to where I want to hide or the, the what I want to mirror the blemish with, like so. That one's not too good, so I just click the back button. See, I've got this bit better okay so you can sometimes make a blemish a little bit worse so you see this one here it's a little bit worse than it did originally so I'll just use a different area so all the blemishes around this area have gone what about these this side look so let's select the area Let's make the circle a little bit smaller so we um, we don't go over the um, the edge of the skin. I'm just pinching and squeezing the circle and then tapping the flatten button once I've done. Okay, so I've removed all the, the blemishes from the face and if we look, if we click these two little squares on the right hand side, it'll show you what the image used to be like. So we've removed these blemishes. Now what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and remove some of these freckles from her nose. Let me show you I'm going to do that. I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to select the area because I just used the flatten button and I'm going to go to a whiter or a lighter area on her skin um, and use that. And it, you might have to do this quite a, quite a few times. I'm just going to use that as our um, cover like so. I'm going to keep doing this but being sure to not let the circle go over the skin area or sorry over the edge of where her nose is 
was we just end up with a reshaped nose as opposed to um, something we actually wanted. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep doing this. And it is just a you have to have a little bit of patience, so just bear with it. You know, you will get there eventually. And when you're doing it slowly, like so, it actually looks like nothing's getting better. But trust me, it is, and I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to try and get rid of all these blemishes. So now if I zoom out, now you might think not a lot has happened, but if I click the little two arrows to show you the amount of freckles we've actually removed, that's quite a lot. So... Once I'm happy that I've removed all the blemishes, see, I could, I suppose I could do these ones on the lips as well, so I could just make that much smaller and use the lip area as well. Notice, I think we'll make it much smaller and use the lip area. Make this here much smaller. Just remove these blemishes. So yeah, okay, I'm, I'm a bit happier with that. Once I'm done, you have a look. Yes, I have removed more blemishes. I'm gonna click the little tick button, top right hand side, um, tap the screen to close down my sidebar so you could see what the image did look like, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap the, um, tap the, the, the screen again to get our sidebar back up. I'm gonna close down the tools and I'm gonna go to image. Then I'm gonna go to adjust. And now this is where I differ slightly from what they suggest on the end light tutorial because I believe if there are predefined filters there and they work then use them and this clean works really well so if I um, slide my finger all the way down so I've not got any effect on this clean and then I start to slide my finger up up the way all the way you'll see if I show you how it was to where it is takes away the remaining blemishes or red parts of the skin. And I'm gonna click the little tick button to accept that. And then I'm gonna to go to clarity. Now on clarity, what I've got, I've got this fantastic little predefined, um, predefined filter called denoise. And now what this does, it takes away any unwanted noise. So these areas here, if I scroll up the way, you see we can get rid of those if I slide my finger along. It removes these little imperfections in the image. So, But I don't want this all the way up because it also gives this blurred effect, this type of almost um, cartoon effect or even romantic sort of um, filter. So I'm just going to scroll down, um, all the way down, and then drag it up until I see a noted change but not too much. So for me, it's around 50% here. Then I'm gonna click the little tick button and I'm gonna go back to image and adjust. And then I just want to make this image, you see it's very white at the moment. I just want to give it a little bit of warmth. And again, we've got a predefined filter to, for that and it's called warm. I'm gonna slide all the way down with my finger and then slide it up until I note than, or, or, or I get to the level of color or warmth that I want in the image. And this is about right for me. Um, so I'm gonna click the little toolbar, little tick button on the top right side. And this is our image completed. I will show this before and after side by side so you can compare. This is what it looked like and this is what it is now. What it looked like and this is what it is now. I suppose you could add a, um, add a filter to this to to, um, to, to change it up a little bit more. And you know, it's all about just um, just messing around with it, but definitely you can see that your filters, your, your selfies are gonna be much much better now and um, and that's how to retouch them. So if you have any comments or, or suggestions or questions, please comments box below, um, carry on. And um, yeah, give us a like and, uh, and a share if you're, feeling, um, if you're feeling generous. So thanks a lot for your time and I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon.